This video shows how calibration trim is simplified by wizards from software or handheld communicator from different vendors using EDDL. Calibration trim is an example of a step-by-step -step wizard that simplifies complex operations and reduces mistakes. A wizard is also known as an EDDL method. First, because calibration is a confused term, let us clarify what we mean by calibration and trim. Calibration has three parts to it. They are sensor trim, range setting and output current trim. Sensor trim adjusts the sensor reading so that it matches the actual process input. For instance, if the sensor has drifted over time, the reading is corrected using sensor trim. By definition, this means a known input must be applied to the transmitter, so somebody must be at the transmitter to apply the input. It cannot be done remotely. The measurement range tells the transmitter at which inputs the output should be 4 mA and 20 mA respectively. For instance, if 4 to 20 mA output is desired as the input changes from 20 to 240 mm of water, range setting is to write these two points to the transmitter. No input has to be applied, so it can be done remotely. Current trim adjusts the transmitter output so that the current output is correct. For instance, if the output circuitry has drifted over time, the output current is adjusted using current trim. By definition, this means the output current must be measured. So somebody must connect a multimeter at the test terminals. It cannot be done remotely. Field bus devices do not have 4 to 20 milliamp output, so current trim is not applicable. And in many applications, range is not set in the transmitter either. Sensor trim is applicable to all the transmitters. There are three forms of trim to adjust the sensor. Zero trim, lower sensor trim and upper sensor trim. Lower sensor trim requires a known input to be applied and it shall be a value at or about the 4 mA point. The technician must tell the transmitter the applied value. Upper sensor trim also requires a known input to be applied and it shall be a value at or about the 20 mA point. The technician must tell the transmitter the applied value. Zero trim requires that zero input must be applied. This is commonly done for pressure and flow transmitters as no pressure and no flow is easy to apply by shutting off and venting. Since the input shall be zero, the technician need not tell the transmitter any value. Now that calibration has been explained, let's see how zero trim is made easy using an EDDL wizard. For this newly installed and commissioned pressure transmitter, we can see the reading is 23.55 mm of water. But let's say we know it should be zero. The difference could be due to mounting position. The reading can be adjusted using zero trim. Click on the transmitter as a shortcut to start the zero trim wizard. The wizard can also be started from the calibration page. The wizard steps and messages you will see in the following sequences are defined by the device manufacturer, not the software manufacturer, based on the know-how of their experts in order to make the transmitter easy to calibrate. In this first step, the technician is reminded to radio the process operators to put the control loop in manual since sensor trim bumps the measured value which in turn bumps a control loop in automatic which is undesirable. Once the technician has confirmation from operations that the loop is in manual, click next to proceed. In the second step, the technician is warned the transmitter calibration will be affected. Aware of the implications, the technician clicks next to proceed or can opt to abort by clicking cancel. In the third step, the technician is instructed to apply zero input. The technician now isolates, equalizes and vents the manifold of the pressure transmitter and then clicks next to confirm this step it has been done. In the fourth step, the technician is requested to wait for the sensor input to stabilize. Once the reading has stabilized, the technician clicks next to proceed. In the fifth step, the technician is informed the zeroing is completed. The technician returns the manifold to normal and clicks next to proceed. In the last step, the technician is reminded to inform the process operators that the loop can be returned to automatic control. The technician clicks next to acknowledge. Returning to the process variable display, we can see the pressure reading is now zero. The EDDL wizard takes the mystery out of transmitter calibration by enforcing the correct sequence and hiding the complexity of bus technologies by taking care of mode switching etc. Let's look at the calibration wizard for the same kind of transmitter in another system. In this system, we have the same scenario with the same model pressure transmitter. We can see a maintenance warning and that the reading is negative 16.9 millibar, so we want to make a zero trim. Click on the transmitter to open the calibration page. Click the button to start the zero trim wizard. The technician is reminded to inform the operators to put the loop in manual. The technician is warned the transmitter calibration will be affected. 
At every step the technician has the option to abort. The technician is instructed to apply zero input. Wait for the sensor input to stabilize. Done. The technician is reminded to radio the operators to return the control loop to automatic. In the process variable display, we can see the pressure reading is now zero. Did you notice that the wizard messages in the second system are the same as in the first system? This is because the steps are defined by the device manufacturer, not the software manufacturer. Lastly, let's look at the calibration wizard for the same kind of transmitter in a handheld communicator. EDDL wizards work not only on Windows computers, but also on handheld field communicators that can be brought to the field for in-suit sensor trim. These rugged yet lightweight tools are highly valued by technicians. EDDL is the only device integration technology supported on handheld communicators. In this system, we have the same scenario with the same model pressure transmitter. We can see a maintenance warning and that the reading is 7.4 millibar. So we want to make a zero trim. Click setup, calibration, sensor trim and zero trim to start the zero trim wizard. The technician is reminded to inform the operators to put the loop in manual. The technician is warned the transmitter calibration will be affected. At every step, the technician has the option to abort. The technician is instructed to apply zero input. Wait for the sensor input to stabilize. Done. The technician is reminded to radio the operators to return the control loop to automatic. Returning to the process variable display, we can see the pressure reading is now zero. Did you notice that the wizard messages in the handheld field communicator are the same as in the two systems? The wizard messages are the same in all the three cases presented just like the device manufacturer wants them to. Thanks to EDDL wizards, all technicians will calibrate the same way every time and wizards reduce the risk of steps being missed. Other transmitters are calibrated in similar ways. The calibration wizard for each device is customized by the transmitter manufacturer's factory experts to the needs of the particular sensing technology. Plausibility check on the technician's input is done both through EDDL and in the transmitter itself. Use EDDL to simplify calibration.